live from the studios of DSC Team, Miami Gardens, Florida. This is DSC Team 101 Tech Talk. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Mr. Diego Certified. I don't know if hey, he's we better. Should, we should add applause. I don't know if he's better than I present or Bro, opening the show. It's than you. a movie. It's a movie. Yeah, it's a movie. What's up, guys? It's Mr. DS18. Welcome back to another DS18 101 Tech Talk. In Tuesday. On a Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday. What's up, guys? Let's give like two minutes to everybody to tune in since it's our first time doing it on a Tuesday. You may ask yourself, why on why? a Tuesday? Yeah. Why? So it's show season. Uh, we're starting the summer. So we got two teams separating to today at five in the morning, going separate ways. Um, myself and one team are going towards Atlantic City, New York, tri-state area for a whole week. And then we got team B, team two, which is Lewis and Harry, our long lost adopted friend, <laughs> <laughs> our Puerto Rican Dominican amigo from Tampa. A Mexican as well. <laughs> oh, a Mexican, Mexican. They're headed out for Slamology with Anthony Kimball and the whole slam team. They're heading out that way. Veloz Audio is going to be with them. We're taking a lot of nice demo vehicles. Lopez Car Audio is also going to be joining them on the on the way up there. So it's going to be a loud weekend all over the place. Ground we Pound also, is going to be there. Ground Pound. We also have the guys from Dropping Hertz. We finished the band. Oh, really? Yeah, I saw it. Band with the hooligans, yeah. powered by excess power. It's going to be um, crazy. It's going to be a loud weekend for sure. We'll be in Atlantic City truck meet, and we'll also be in Slamology. And we got some good dealers. We're going to be with M2 Audio in Slamology. We're going to have Extreme Sounds at Atlantic City. And JLR Fab will be doing the Bantam Jeep Heritage Festival up in Ohio. Nice. It's a busy weekend. Busy weekend. Indeed. Diego, let's go to a show. I can't. That's not true. I can't. Because I've been I have waiting. So many I have many, so here. many things to do. <laughs> Stop complaining. I have All right. To so today is going to be Pacandao. Pacandao. How many can you say? Pancadas. Pancadao. Pancadao. We're gonna talk about the legendary Pacadao, Pancadao. Yeah, the professional competition mid base. Mid base. Pancadao style. Yes, Brazilian style. Oh, Brazilian style. So, Stanwall style. We have several know. models available, but the favorite ones are the 10 inch 1.5K, the 12 inch 1.5K, and the 12 inch. 3k this is the one we have 18 installed in our puerto rican demo vehicle ah oh, yes diego hasn't had I the chance here, here. Yes. so we have 18 of these installed there but is the winner yes it must be the queen loud. of queens yes so we also have is the one these available in eight ohms these are all four ohm versions so we do have them available in eight ohms the 10 inch only comes in a 1.5K, right? 1.5K uh, and it's only four ohms. We also have two ohms. Or eight ohms. Or which one is it? Eight ohms. Eight ohms? Okay. Eight ohms. And we also make an eight inch, but we wanted to show you the big boys. I think the big, um, the big boys we wanted, you guys can appreciate because honestly, these things are massive. So let's start off with the 10 inch. Diego, let's move this over to one side. Let's move this over here. It's heavy. It's heavy. <laughs> Don't scratch my table. It's heavy. Okay. Talk to me about this guy. All what right. makes this 10 inch 1500 watts RMS speaker so special? So, yeah, as you can see, this has a big. Booty. <laughs> yeah, that's the word. We can say okay. booty. Okay. Right, producer? Booty. Yeah, you see. You can't All say right. ass, but we can say booty. 
it just should be there. Okay. So this holds 1500 watts RMS power, as you can see. So this bad boy have, let me just check that out in here. At Let's bring out inch. the spec sheet. Do you have the spec sheet for the 10, the 1.5 to? Yes. These have a three, a three inches voice coil. Uh, yes, that one. This voice coil is fiberglass. glass, is made in fiberglass. glass. The material of the winding is a CCA for more cooling capacity. Is much better than copper because copper is heavy. So this one have more sensitivity because of that. Also the heat dissipation is much better in this kind of coils. Now, this is a three inch voice coil. This is the three inch voice coil, like I said before. You have a 91 ounces magnet for read magnet. So it's huge. And the FS of this speaker is 80 Hertz, which is perfect for those Pacadao style uh, boxes that you have a horn loaded ported box. So it's perfect for that. That's that's why this sounds I've really been, good. I, in so now let's go a little bit more technical. Yes. I, I've been getting a lot of questions about these speakers. Like, is there a specific box? Is there a specific box? Yes. Because some, it's some people, not... wait, wait, wait. Before you go into it, okay. some people, like, I have something here. Obviously, this is not it. But okay. some people want to know that if they do a regular ported box like this, Will it work? Yeah. But it won't perform what it's supposed to do. Am no. I correct? Yes, because it's not a subwoofer. It's not like a subwoofer box, but it's not a, it, like a mid bass box either. It's a mid woofer style. It's a mid woofer style. So you have to make the box um, with a specific uh, tune uh, for the port and the size of the port as well. And also, the wall behind the speaker have to have some, some distance. distance because they this acting like like a, a reflex. It's, and it's it, a style and of and reflex I'm sure, box. I'm pretty sure it'll help you tone it yes. properly. And that's why this box sounds really good. And also when they are together, they are louder together. Who, so, who's they? With the, the, these guys, okay. How many? <laughs> when you say together for, for six, six or six? eight. That's it. <laughs> six. Come on. Yeah. But, yeah. Remember, remember the the um, the Yoka. Yes, he has six. He has That's six, six, six or twelve, and sounds On two nineties. <laughs> Man, that that sounds like almost four twenty twenty ones, like four eighteens. I, yeah. I will say, it's a, I will but, say but it's a different base. it's a different sensation yeah it's a different sensation because it actually the subwoofer the 18s and 15s 21s those actually create a real low frequency this one creates a mid low frequency that actually makes your eyes no no but remember we i'm talking about the 18s the pro audio ones yeah but yeah it, it's the same frequencies but um it depends when you tune it. But those guys, the Dominican, the Puerto Rican, they tune high because they, they want the salsa bass, the bachata bass, and all the stuff. They want it in high frequencies. Let, all, all I see is I'm my talking name about, on the comments. <laughs> How many times have they written my name? <laughs> <laughs> we are talking about 70, 80 hertz. That's, that's the peak. Platano, Platano! Platano is uh, Diego. So I, I, I think Alex and Christy are making fun of us because <laughs> you, prob you probably said Pacadao wrong. Pacadao. Okay. Chris. So it's Pacadao, right? Recommendations. Uh, and also, also question. I have people want to put this in a slingshot or maybe in I a saw, I saw already in a slingshot. <laughs> um, I have my Jeep. For Pancadao, four ohms, what app I should use. Okay. Which for, one? Which ones do you have? 1500 yeah, the, the 1500 or the, or the 3Ks. Um, it doesn't say. But let's say um, is four of those, uh, four ohms is 
uh, at the end is one ohm. So a full range is going to be better in this case. Uh, let's say this is four fifteen hundred. I will say the AK because it's six thousand watts. What you need, but we don't have six thousand. We have five thousand or eight thousand. So let's put just use uh, AK. So it's going to be enough power to to handle. Uh, if it's a three K, you have to use two two two, yes. two of our yes. Other the three Ks. He's oh no, you, he's using a GFX three K one oh, on. I ask That's him about the the speaker. Which one you are using? The fifteen hundred or the three thousand? Yeah, that's what we want to know. Yes. In case that you using the three K, I, I was two AKs. Yes, two AKs. Yes, yes. It's three thousand. It's six thousand, but it's four ohms. So it's gonna be two. We ohms. We, we have Only. in our ambulance so you Puerto can use, Rico. Oh yeah, the one AK, AK for each two. Point, point two, the two ohms version, right? Yes, we have one AK for each two. <laughs> you yeah, have you need it. You need yes. it. You need it because the okay, this is three thousand RMS, but the power handling is more than that. You can put uh, uh, six thousand watts in in. In maximum power he has the eight inch those are a thousand rms uh, i would okay. recommend the gfx 5k okay okay yes the 5k that's a big those... difference when you didn't say the size yeah it's a so, big difference so the, the eight, eight inches the eight, eight inches, inches, inches are a thousand rms yeah but yeah, yeah. we recommend a little bit more power because they, more. they can take it. You can take it. Now, now that you touched the the subject about the eight inch i got a, a text message uh Instagram message like a week ago that someone you want to put eights in tower speakers. In tower speakers? I said, you're not doing anything. Oh, I yeah. want more bass. It yeah, really it doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. It needs a box. It needs a huge that's box. Why, that's a why I asked huge him, box. is the box necessary? It's very important in this kind of speaker because like, a, like, like you said, in, in for making bass, for make bass need a big box. In, in a can that is sealed and is very small, it, it wouldn't do anything. No, they, they yeah. probably think, and I just want to get this out there. Sometimes what has more power or what's more expensive isn't always the best. It is a of the application. Exactly. So yeah. some people think also a thousand RMS, I want to put this in a in a bow can, in a tower speaker. I explain it doesn't work like that. It won't perform like that. Why? I can see the frequency response. Yeah, it's very specific. I, this I had to ask you yeah. in front of everybody about the box. This, is it essential? Yes, this mid base is made for using in a specific box to get the maximum performance. Uh, this also, uh, and this is because this speaker is a mid base, and it won't. Uh, the vocal is not that high. Uh, than maybe a EXL or uh, or a small power speaker because this is making for move air mid bass. Nice, nice. Okay, next let's do the two. let's do the this the the brother but the bigger brother the bigger brother because this is this the twelve is inch fifteen hundred as well. I'm I think. <laughs> Um, it's crashing the <laughs> the oh. table. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like it's crashing the table. Now because it's heavy. I I cannot pick it up. I got it. I got it. It's, it's very heavy. I got it. You need a man. You need a man. You need yeah, a man. I know. That's why I have it. Now, even though this is fifteen hundred RMS, it is not the same motor. No, this is a four inch voice coil, so it's bigger voice coil. It's same materials. Uh, the magnet weight is 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 bigger. Yeah, that's that it's one. that one. Yeah, the 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 magnet is one one hundred and fifty ounces, so it's bigger. Uh, but why fifteen hundred? Same as that because, um, like I said, this is a mid bass, so it's 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 to perform in lower frequencies than a regular mid range. When you try to play with lower frequencies, you will need a stronger magnet and a stronger motor to hold, hold in that power. It's not the same when you cut off a mid-range in 120 hertz or 160 hertz. 
than cut it in in 60 hertz because this can take 60 hertz okay so now is way different so the power handling you have to match it with with that kind of let's see let's keep, let's keep seeing the spec sheets so the frequency response in this bad boy is 60 hertz all the way to ak um the recommend high pass filter is 70 hertz like i said in in a good box that plays very loud that that frequency is going to be very good scroll down <sighs> oh she doesn't have it more oh yes so now no, same this four inch voice okay yep. so it's a four inch voice coil the frequency uh, resonance on this speaker is 60 hertz okay so now like i said let's it's, go it's, technical it's this like one. a it's like a it's, it's a woofer i have actually no the, the reason woofer. the reason i brought this speaker up for our 101 is because um i get this a lot what happens if i have four pack and dials i have four fu's and two 15s will my 15s cancel these um okay but you have to tune in tune different so use the 15s to make subwoofer lower frequencies than 70 okay. or 60. Hertz. Now let's go, wait, let me go a little bit more profound. So I have a guy, he has two 15s in a turbo bandpass box. Hmm, that's a problem. He has four of these, hmm. he has four FUs, and then his drivers and his tweeters. Yes, that's a problem because you are canceling, yeah, you are, you are, you are doing the same, yeah, you are doing the same job using the 15s and using this the the turbo boxes they only play in in a very narrow frequencies and most of those uh, turbo box they play at 70 hertz 65 if it's, it's if, if it's a big one and this doing the same thing putting in a in a pacadao port boxes this is going to play 70 60 a little bit wider because uh, the reflex boxes is have a wider frequency response, but it's doing the same frequencies. So it's possible that you have cancellation, cancellation or you have to match it with a DSP using a DSP and a, a, and a, a delay using the little delay. Maybe you can match it very well, but it's possible that you can have some cancellation. So it's better to use a ported subwoofer box i i will say okay turbo boxes is very good it's loud but i will say just replace the pacadaos for uh uh mid-range that it gets more vocals because you already have the bass hey, that's the problem and that's the problem that confuses people they think because it can handle the 1500 that this is the speaker for them but they have to, you have to you have to have this in mind that you can't you you shouldn't use the same speaker in different applications. Mm -hmm. So yeah, if you're already playing with the turbo box, you you will you, need you this. don't you don't need this. Now, if you want if you like old school bass, like Diego that he had in his Tahoe the four 18s mm -hmm. in his uh, expedition, whatever excursion, that thing I miss. Nice question. Don't cry. Um, will this this will give you the frequencies that the subwoofer can play? Can play. So that would be this would be a good combination. Yes, subwoofer can do very hard 35, 40, 50, 65, maybe 70. Uh, a bigger subwoofer, a big subwoofer with big magnets, 80, not good. Is they 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 cancel? Yeah, they are they are heavy. Uh, uh, cone to play that frequency loud. This one can do that. Okay. So, so so yeah, it's it's a different application. Like I said, it's very specific. Th this mid bass is very specific for those guys that want the the high bass portion of the music, like the salsa bass. Like I said, the, yeah, okay. uh, some reggaeton, some. Um, um, 65 70 hertz frequencies so the bad boy. so let's go back uh, and why using this and not as regular subwoofer like i said the subwoofer have a heavy cone 
So the sensitivity in those frequencies is very low. No. A regular subwoofer, this kind, maybe 89 or 90 dB sensitivity. This guy has 96. Yes. That's a huge yes. difference. Huge difference. Um, I, I don't think you were here, but a couple of months ago, uh, I brought a customer in. He had an old school bunk with eight of these in the back seat. And the and uh, uh, he had four uh, and four uh, in a box. In a box, yes. Okay. He had four really? in one box. But I saw in do in doors without any port. No, no, that doesn't work. No, and <laughs> I thought when he came in, the whole building was vibrating. He had the fifteen hundreds. He had two eight Ks. No, I'm sorry. He had two of our old nine Ks. FR nine Ks. FRs for each four. And when I came to the, he said, oh, come see my setup. I came, I was expecting to see 15s. Sons of Wolfer. He yeah. had eight of these because he's old school. It was a donk. He had, he had that old school planet rock. <laughs> All right. So it sounded insane. Yeah. Insane. Yeah. Oh, in that era, the, the strokes, the... The Stroker? Yeah, yeah, exactly. The Serving Vegas? Maybe it's the so, same category. Yeah. So I was blown away when I saw those perform like that. And I think we, we played with these prototypes in my Jeep, remember? We put yeah. a 9K. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We put a 9K. We did yeah, like, of like 10 boxes. Yeah, 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 of course. Yes. And um, because we played with this guy, not in a weird way, because <laughs> we played with this guy, we came up with... Okay, I, I saw... You, I, I see one question, the, the last one, by any chance. You got to move that out of the way, sir. By any chance, do the DS18 Pro XL Neo 10 in B1000 yeah. or 7 5 glass door panel? Yes, 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 yes. yes. They work well. Yeah. yeah those, those, those are a different speaker. Those are coming soon in one of our tech talks because we've been getting asked that question a lot. It's a mid bass, mid range. It does both applications. It can handle a thousand watts RMS. Not like this. This is a different sort of application. Yes. We'll uh, get into those later, into that detail in another video. All right. Now the big boy, this is the bigger one. This is the 3000. This is the El de 3000. Oh. Got it? Yes. So as you can see, they have double stack magnet style. This is a, this is bigger than any subwoofer <laughs> in a mid base. Yeah, this so thing. This is the cone, as you can see. Um, this is paper, reinforced paper, non non. Hey, 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 take it easy with the table. Yeah, the sir. table. Every time that I flip it up, it's doing crazy noise. You have the specs of these over there? Let's show. Them. No, this is the 12, 3K. 3K. Okay, All right. Well, so we are real quick. This is three thousand watts RMS. So it's double of this. Is yeah, like like you can see, you is the double. But magnet. It, but it is a four inch voice coil. Four inch voice coil, double double stock magnet, and uh, the magnet is two hundred and fifty ohms, which is huge. Um, How much is that one? Is one sixty. One fifty. Okay. Yes. So it's so two hundred and fifty. This. Uh, frequency response 60 all the way to 9 kilohertz. 70 is the the hyper recommend filter, but all depends in the box. 95.8 dBs the sensitivity on so this guy. 2.2 decibels less than that one, and this and is a 3,000, and it weighs almost double. That's a huge difference. Yeah, that, that's you. You said correctly. we have we have 18 of these babies. You have the point you in our the points. You have the point. It's just a, a little less sensitivity, but twice of power. So it's point two. It's gonna be loud. Now, this thing, I'm telling you guys, um, I wanted to have some boxes, um, play them, but it was impossible. Um, the guy that does our boxes for us, he was packed up of work. He couldn't finish on time. So we have decided to do the Pacandao 
like a part two where we can actually show you guys how well the speaker performs. Obviously, video won't do justice, but we want to show you guys the power we put into it, how the speaker bounces, how it moves. So you guys got to stay tuned for that video. We'll be coming very soon. Once we get the boxes in, we'll launch out and let you guys know when that video is going to be ready. Right? All right. So... And there you guys have if it. If we don't have any more questions, so we can just finish. Did you put the links of this all the products? Yeah. Okay. All so right. so there you guys have it. The Pacadao. The, the ten Pacadao. inch. The what? Ten and twelve inch. No, 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 no. What's, what's the name? Pancadao. <laughs> nah. The Pro 1.5. <laughs> <laughs> And cut that. <laughs> you should next put it, time. Put it, put it. Next time, next time. And cut that. <laughs> next time we'll bring Chris uh, in. The yeah, show. next time we'll bring Chris into yeah. the show and let her explain. We have like cow. three Brazilians here in the yeah. back in the headquarters. So there you guys have it. We got the 10 inch 1500 RMS. We got the 12 inch 1500 RMS. Then we got the 12 inch 3000 RMS. Really have to know. Huh? To Brazilians? This guy is still speaking about Brazilians. <laughs> because he's upset three, they're going to say no. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Mr. DSAT. We are only two. I'm Diego Certified, and we like it loud. <laughs>